in the chat. Okay. I've copied that. Okay. Got it. Yeah, good. Uh, good evening, everyone. It's almost 7 p.m., but if uh, possible, we can wait for another five minutes for the attendees to come in. So far, we have a good number of attendants now. We, uh, we're already at uh, 29 participants. So we'll start at 7.05. Thank you.
our participants number is still increasing. So I think it's really good to wait, Ahmed, uh, if you don't mind. Yeah, no issue at all. Okay, uh, we have one more minute, but for the meantime, can we request Olumide please to enable the chat box because I know there are some participants who would like to send their, uh, their greetings as well. And so we would know where they are coming from, from which country or which um, area in Abu Dhabi, for example, they are coming from. Oh, we have attendee from uh, United States, Pittsburgh, and uh, in Dumati, and also Sultan from Dubai. Okay, it's seven oh five. We have so far forty eight attendees. Um, good. Well, we're going to start now while our, our colleague Olumide is trying to enable the chat box as well. So, uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you for coming and attending our uh, webinar tonight. And um, for the meantime, I would like to share my screen first as an introduction uh, about the UAE and our chapter. Our PMI UAE chapter, I mean. Oh, the share is not working. So tonight's event webinar is uh, in, um, entitled Importance of E-commerce in this business in the marketplace. And this will be delivered by our esteemed speaker, Mr. Ahmed Khan, 
But before that, let me give you an introduction and background of the PMI UAE chapter. PMI, as you may know, works on behalf of the project manager professionals uh, to, in, to advance the project management profession worldwide. The PMI UAE chapter is a US-based project management institute chapter, which is run by 100% volunteers. We are proud to be on the top 5% of the chapters globally in terms of members, and we continue to grow day by day. We are, we are passionate about project management professional, for, uh, personal development, networking, and education. We are dependent on you, not only the members, but also the volunteers, in order to make our chapter activities as interactive and invigorating as possible. Please contribute to our activities by sharing interesting talks, presentations, be corporate sponsors in our events, and help us out as volunteers. The new and enhanced benefits of members, as you can see here, we have four pillars, the networking, learning and knowledge sharing, career growth, and events. The one that we are doing right now is one of those diversified webinars that happen on a monthly basis. Uh, we can uh, we have a KPI of up to three webinars in a month. So you will all be notified of these webinars and they are of various subjects and interesting topics. We also would like to thank our sponsors and partners. You can see them all here and we'd like to mention that we just signed a partnership with a new uh, organization which is Go Roho and we grow minds. You can see it recent, very recently signed and seen in our PMI UAE chapter LinkedIn page. Lastly, we would like to request you to please engage with the panelists through the chat and Q&A. The question and answer will be done at the end of Mr. Ahmed's presentation. So we can uh, allow him to go ahead and continue with his presentation without interruption. However, Mr. Ahmed will be uh, passionate to answer, of course, your qu questions later on. You will earn one PDU for this webinar. At this time, we will not share the PDU code yet, but we will share it in the chat box after the event. To find out more about our upcoming events, please visit our website or you can follow us in our social media accounts, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. So without um, any more further in, uh, introduction about our PMI chapter, allow me now to introduce to you our esteemed speaker. Ahmed Khan is the founder of Fast Commercial International, a renowned e-commerce platform and digital marketing consultancy with a track record of success in businesses based in the UK, USA, Japan, Canada, and Australia, and for very known brands such as Nestle, Kong, Royal Canine, Crayola, L'Oreal Paris, and more. He is one of the top rated e-commerce mentors in Pakistan. Ahmed has an MBA degree from London, UK, but rather than working there, he decided to move back to his motherland and serve the country. It was in 2018 with a mission of creating million jobs in the next five years that Ahmed founded the Fast Commerce International. Today, it is one of the few Pakistani-based e-commerce agencies which is helping the people in Pakistan build their own e-commerce business in international markets like Amazon. Ahmed is a business consultant and a mentor for the youth. The latest initiative taken by Ahmed is the establishment of a new institute in the Valley of Hunza, a beautiful valley in Pakistan, to foster the deserving intelligent individual with e-commerce skills. Ahmed's agency is in collaboration with Tefta Punjab as Amazon BA trainer at the Prime Minister office in Pakistan, E. Rosgar Skim. He has already trained three batches. So Ahmed, consider us some of the youth that you are mentoring. We cannot wait to further learn from you. So I'm moving and transferring the virtual floor to you.
Ahmed, you are on mute. Yeah, it's okay. Hi. Oh. Hello, guys. Hope you guys are doing very, very well today. And thank you very, very much for your participant today. What basically we're going to discuss today, uh, how important the e-commerce market in the world, especially we're gonna talk about a marketplace that is growing rapidly like Amazon, Walmart, eBay, and yeah, noon here as well. And then uh, I'm gonna tell you like how you guys can build your brand while sitting at home. And at the last, I will be open for the questions. If you have like anything in your mind, please write it down in your diaries. So I will take your questions and I will try my best to answer you all. So let me share my screen so we can start. Okay, basically that is our company called Afast Commerce. Okay, here I will start from the global mobile internet penetration, average growth. Like how many people are using internet on their mobile phone? So you can see here in the North Europe, 98%, Western Europe, 94%. So that is the data for all the other countries, they are very successful in their business and they have a very high rate of commerce as well. So mobile internet penetration, we will talk about in UAE as well, because we are in UAE, so we want to grow here worldwide as well. So you can see here a statistic for 2022, the total population is 10.08 million. And look, how many internet users are here? 9.98 million. The smartphone user is 9.8 million. The mobile internet user is 9.3 million. So basically that is a huge data. Second, if you can see how much average person spending on the internet, like they can use it from the mobile phone, tablet, laptop, or any other medium. So they are spending eight hour and 36 minutes that I'm talking about the average person. So when they're spending that much time, so obviously some of them are doing shopping, some of them are, they are building their brand. And you know, most of them also using the Insta and Facebook as well. So now let me tell you the three Amazon top seller countries in the world. And you'll be amazed with the some name as well. In the number one is USA. They have too many Amazon sellers there. Number two is China. So China is the second place in the Amazon sellers list. And you'd be amazed on the third one. You know, on the third stage, here is the Pakistan. And uh, you know, the good thing is Amazon approved Pakistan as a legalized seller last year is just a year ago. And now we be on the number three selling list as well. So because of the industry is growing rapidly and everybody want to do business on the USA. Okay, now uh, let me tell you about what is the e-commerce. E-commerce, basically anything you can do from your internet medium, like you can use your mobile, you can use your computer, you can use your laptop, you can use any device that is connected to the internet. So what you're doing with that, either you are going to buy some product, either you are going to buy some service. And you know, in both service and in product, there is a transaction involved. You know, when three things involved, like one, internet, electronic media, you can say transaction, or for the transaction, you are buying like a product or you are getting a service that is a called an e-commerce business. So what we have here, e-commerce, basically in e-commerce business, you can sell your goods very fast. Transmitting funds and data is rapidly. You know, when you buy something on noon, it's just take you a second to buy the products and you are paying them and they will tell you, okay, when you're gonna deliver your product. So it's mean, it's really fast. You are not going to any shop. You are not like looking around all the different things. You just type the product name and the things start to appear in front of you. 
there's electric fund transfer, so you don't need to like uh, worry about the cash or anything. You can pay them by card and fast supply chain as well. Even some of the like e-commerce platform, they will give you delivery in same day. So you don't need to go out to find out the parking. It's a hassle-free service, basically, you can say. Second is the automated inventory management system. What does that mean? That means, you know, if they have 100 products in their warehouse and when you buy one, they're going to be 99 on the system. So they know when the product's going to be out, when the product's going to be finished and they have to re-inventory the products as well. So it's all automatic as well. Number three is the e-marketing online. So you can market their products on every single thing is online. The transaction is online. Every single process is online now. So that is called e-commerce. Now let me talk, tell you about something. Why e-commerce? Why should we do e-commerce business? Okay, here uh, I will also like to compare some physical businesses with the online business as well. So why we have to do the online business rather than the physical business? Okay, you know, online presence will help you to engage with your customer. So what does that mean? You know, uh, when you're not present in your physical shop and your salesperson is there, you're not going to be engaged or anything. But in the online world, you can track the orders anytime. You can see uh, how many customers bought your products. You can see how many customers telling good things about your products, how many customers telling bad things about your customer as well. And on the number two, you can say is a windfall gain of a new customer. What does that mean? You know, uh, when you have a shop or when you have a physical business in your area, you know, the local people come to buy from you. Like if you have a business, a physical business in here in Dubai, not the people from the Abu Dhabi, they want to come and buy products from you. They can buy it from Abu Dhabi. Same like you have a business in Abu Dhabi, people from Dubai, they're not going to come to you. If you have a physical shop or physical store, they can buy it from Dubai. So, but in online, you can have a windfall, windfall gain of a customer from everywhere in the world. I'm not talking about in UAE, like you have a business here, you can go with them globally. So you get a windfall of the customer from anywhere in the world. Operational cost, uh, that is a really, really big headache for, you know, the when a new startup, when you're starting a new business, you have to buy a building, you have to pay rents for a couple of days as well, because uh, you, you have to decorate the business, you have to put a new things in the shop, you have to paint them, you have to new lights and every single thing. So the operational cost is there as well. So here you are saving all the operation cost is a data driven selling. So you know what people are looking to buy online. So you just get this product, keep them in store and you just sell them. Digital sales pitching versus uh, physical sales pitching. You know, uh, when you hire a new person uh, and you tell them and you guide them, okay, you need to tell these, these things about the products and this is our good products, these are our bad products. You need to tell every single thing. So sometimes, you know, the salesperson, what they do, they want uh, basically a sale. They want to impress their boss and they say a lot of things that even not matters. So in digital sales pitching, uh, you need to work on your content. So, you know, every single customer are looking at the same content. So it's mean there's a less chances of mistakes when you have a digital pitching. Digital branding, okay, what does the digital branding means? You know, uh, when you open a business in one city, you have to put a board outside and you want to like put an ad in the newspaper or anything like that. But in digital branding, like if you are sitting like anywhere in the world, you are sitting in India, Pakistan, UAE, anywhere in the world, you can do digital branding in USA, in whole Europe, you can cover Australia, you can cover Japan. So you are not like doing any billboards or anything. So it's a cost saving as well. Next, remarketing and retargeting in a boundaryless market is the same thing. You know, uh, same like example I gave you before as well. Like if you are doing business in Dubai, nobody come from Abu Dhabi to buy your product. Same in Abu Dhabi. So it's basically the boundaryless market. You can do anything. Okay, the most important thing is a 24-7 potential real income. 
So it's mean if you are selling something, you are making money even while you are sleeping, while your business, like if you have a physical shop, I know too many shops now, they open like 24 seven, but you see the operational cost get doubles. You have to pay them a double salaries and there's like a less customer in the night anyway. So here there's, you are saving the operational cost and your shop not going to close even for one second. Even, you know, uh, sometimes you have a problem at home, sometimes the salesperson didn't come. There are a lot of issues in physical business. So here you have open 24 hour international profitability. What does that mean? So if you have an online business based in India, Pakistan, UAE, so you can show your product, the customer, they are live in USA, in Europe. So on, in the physical business, you cannot do that, but in the e-commerce world, you can do that easily. Okay, the affordable employees and affordable IT infrastructure, what does that mean? You know, uh, you open a business here in UAE, in Abu Dhabi, you need a physical employee and they charge you a lot. You know, you have to pay them a good salaries as well if you're looking for a good person. But uh, on the other side, you know, you can find an e-commerce expert, a uh, small village of India, small village of Pakistan. You can hire them for the cheaper rate as well. So you don't need to pay them like too much money for your to sell their products. So basically he will be your virtual salesperson. So he's sitting at his home and he's managing your all the sales, he's managing your data, he's managing your products, he's managing your inventory, he's answering the client if they have any query or anything. Fast order processing that I told you before as well, like you want to sell anywhere in the world, there will be a fast order processing as well. So there is a top e-commerce website. I put number one, the Amazon. Number second, the eBay, Walmart, Noon, and there's a Shopify there as well. So why basically I'm putting Amazon on the number one? So you can see the data here. There's a market of Amazon versus other platform. Okay, you can see uh, e-commerce worldwide, Amazon have a 41%. What does that mean? Like 41% a customer coming on Amazon, 6.6 .6 on the Walmart, then eBay, Apple, and there's a different marketplace. So why I prefer Amazon? You know, if you're not putting your products on the Amazon, you are losing 41% of the business. You know, sometimes people say, okay, we can make our own website and we start selling on the website. You know, uh, you have to get the credibility first. You have to build your brand first. So in Amazon, like if you're straight putting your products, you don't need to worry about the customer because there is, uh, I think 620 million customer last year bought from the Amazon. And Amazon is one of the only company, uh, they have a trillion dollar company, 1.79 trillion business last year. That give them a lot of benefit because of COVID as well. But the reason why we have to work on the Amazon because of more customer product credibility, because you will get a 30 days. If you don't like the product, you can just send them back and they will just replace it and they will pay you back. So in Amazon market, the buyer is always a king. So, you know, uh, in anywhere in the world where buyer is a king, the business grow rapidly because you are taking care of your buyer. They do take care of a seller as well. They, that doesn't mean like they don't care about the sellers. They do, but the, you know, the client is most important. So that's where you're gonna grow as well. Six reason to invest in Amazon FBA business. Okay, what the FBA mean? FBA says is fulfilled by Amazon. What does that mean? You know, uh, you like a product or you are an industrialist, you are a manufacturer, you have a products and what you do? You send your all the product to the Amazon warehouse. What the Amazon warehouse do? Amazon warehouse keep your product and you list your product on the Amazon. And if there is any order come, Amazon pick, pack and ship your products. So you don't need to worry about shipment. You don't need to worry about payments. You don't need to worry about anything. Amazon will do all behalf of you. So that's why while you are sleeping, you are getting orders, your products is getting shipped. If you are on holidays, you don't need to worry. Amazon is doing every single thing for you. 
here is I explain the reason as well, like unlimited potential. There's any customer come, they will deal it. Ability to breach out through other channels as well. No order fulfillment hassle. You don't need to do anything. There's our fields, okay? No cost, additional cost, you can say. No customer acquisition cost as well. And no manufacturing cost. So you are just sending the products to Amazon and they are taking care of everything. Okay, there's a different model of Amazon as well. Let me put this one here. Okay, building your own brand. What does that mean? You know, if you are a manufacturer or you are working with manufacturer or you want to manufacture something or you want to build your own brand. Like if you want to build, uh, for example, you can say cosmetics products. You know, we work a lot in cosmetics. So what you do, you go to the manufacturer and you tell your name, okay, that is my brand name, that kind of a product I'm looking for. And he will build your products and he will put your name, he will register your product, he will give you a trademark. And then what you do, you start selling this product on Amazon by your brand name. So what's gonna happen? So whenever product is gonna sell, your brand is gonna build. So if you have a physical store and you want to build a brand, how many store you need to open worldwide? You cannot build your brand like open a one store in Abu Dhabi or one store in Dubai. You have to open a multiple stores. So here in Amazon, what happened? You only need to work on the products. If you have a money for the products, that's it. Don't worry about the operational cost or anything. And you can build your brand in the whole Europe, in the whole USA, straight away. So you don't need to worry like, uh, do I have uh, to buy a warehouse? Do I have to buy a person? Do I have to pay something? No, you don't need to pay. You just need to uh, build your products and build your brands. And we start selling it on the USA. Second, that's what we call a private label. You know, private label, that is your own brand. It will be your own name. So it's mean, if your name is ABC or XYZ, you can put your name. That is a private label. That is on your name. Okay, there is one other model as well. Like you can sell somebody else brand. What does that mean? You know, uh, I have a account on Amazon and I open an account and I just contact to Nestle, I contact to like Nike or any big brand. And I, I will tell them, okay, hi, I have a brand, I have a store on Amazon and I want to sell your products. And because, uh, you know, Nike, everybody know. So you want to sell Adidas products, everybody know that. So people can buy that products like very quickly from you. Rather than if you are building your on brand is a PL one, it's, it takes some time. You need to like be patient for that. So what people do with a small investment, they get authorization letter from different brands and they start selling their products. So that is the other model you can do as well. That basically we call it is a wholesale because we buy product from uh, different brands. They are already well-known brands and we resell their products. You can do that like in USA, you can do that in UK, anywhere in the world. Okay, the other thing is innovation versus trading. Okay, what is the innovation? Uh, try to create a new platform versus trading is use someone's platform to do the business. Okay, you know, uh, sometimes people say, okay, we will do, uh, we will uh, like invite something. You know, for doing uh, innovations or inviting something, there's a lot of money involved. So you need to be, have a researcher, you need to be have a research like a, you know the platform as well. There's a different like big countries like you can see in USA, in China, even in UAE as well. There's a big companies they are like working on inventing different things. So how many people like you can see do the innovations and versus how many people do the trading? So you can see is always number on 80, 20. 20% 20 people move to innovations and 80% people move to trading because in trading, you know, uh, there's a business involved. There's a day to day like working involved and there's a lot of potential in trading as well. Whether in innovation, you know, sometime innovation get failed. You have to work, work on it again and again and again. So sometime it take three year, four year, five year, 10 year. Even I know too many person like they are waiting for 20 years. They invited something invented something and they're still waiting because then experiments involved, there are too many things involved in innovations. 
So I personally prefer trading because it's an easy, easy way. You can do it as well. Okay, um, there is like some, I can't say is a training opportunities as well for the freelancer. So what does the training mean here? Okay, basically there is a two ways. One, we are providing a training for the Amazon FBI wholesale as well, the Amazon PL as well. There is multiple trainings. You can see the Amazon FFL as well. FFL is, you can say is a FBA freelancer where they know every single thing about Amazon. Okay, uh, there will be a courses highlight. I'll, I will give you like a, some kind of gift at the end of my presentation as well regarding the training as well. Okay, uh, when you do the wholesale business, you will get, get the introduction to the Amazon FBA, how to register the account, the Amazon buyer, buyer view, like how that looks like. Then the software research tools and method, the shipment calculation, additional guidance, everything will be involved here. Okay, there is a one other course, uh, he say is a PL. PL is a private label, like you are going to build your own course, opening account, like while sitting in UAE, how can you open account in USA? How can you open account in UK? Perfect product. So uh, basically that is a research work. So. I will like uh, basically guide them which product is going to be in the market this time and gonna make you a lot of money because that is the most important part of any business like what you gonna sell because you know if you uh, if you talk about like uh, makeup kits or any like a home and kitchen products you can see thousands of people are already selling so what will be different in your products so here normally I use a word it's called PSP. What the PSP is, problem solving product. So if your product is not problem solving, you're not gonna sell them. So your product must be a problem solving product. It must be solving any kind of a problem. Then yeah, you have a chance to make a millions. Otherwise you're gonna be fail. So I will tell you the failure ratio as well. Like how many people like fail and how many people will get success in this business as well. Okay, the next thing uh, we will tell, teach you like how to evaluate the suppliers and how to check the samples in detail, ordering your inventory and creating your brand, building your brand's assets, the perfect product page, what the, that means is we will tell you anything. The product launch, how to launch the product as well, upcoming training opportunities. Okay, there's other training we are going to start soon, NFTs, you know, some non-fungible tokens, cryptographic sales purchase, metaverse, so that is our next stop. That next topic gonna be as well. Hopefully we're gonna work on that soon as well. Okay, uh, there's one thing before, like I told you about the training, how the freelancer people can do, there's an investor scope as well. Like what the investor can do, investor can brand building all around the world. So he's not gonna be limited in one city or one street or one country. He gonna be worldwide. Can buy a ready-made profitable accounts. So what does that mean? So that will, I will like tell you uh, after a couple of slides as well, like, you know, this business is like a property business as well. Like, you know, the physical versus virtual assets. So I can like tell you as well, like how the physical assets and virtual asset can work. So can flip their asset on a chief of 35 to 50 months advanced profit. Okay, what does that mean here? You know, uh, when you buy a property, let me see. Yeah, here is the digital. Okay, what the physical assets are? Real, as, real estate, stock, metals, currencies that you own physically, basically luxury goods as well. Like that is a physical assets, what the digital assets are. You know, too many people nowadays working on the digital assets and creating digital assets as well. So in the digital asset, you can see the Amazon listing is a digital assets. Your websites, if your website is making money, that is the digital assets. Okay, JPG images, how come that be digital asset? You know, NFTs, metaverse, PDF files, yeah. Videos, cryptocurrencies, tokens, that all is going to be your digital assets as well. And you can sell them, you can flip them. That we call in digital world is a flipping. Like you have a one Amazon listing, it's making good money. For example, like what happened? Uh, you started a business a year ago and after 
after a year, your business creating like a $2,000 up in profit. So what you can do with $2,000 profit, either you can scale your business up for the $3,000. So you have to work hard on that, or you can flip it. What the flipping does mean? You know, you can sell your Amazon listing profit multiply by in a three years or in a four year as well. Like sometime if you are making like a thousand dollar in a month, so or two thousand dollar in a month, you can multiply two thousand multiply by thirty six. So it's a huge amount. Basically, you can flip that. That will take a year to make like two thousand dollar profit. So um, it's mean like it's, it's it's not very easy, but like it is it is like we have done a lot of sales and purchase as well. I will show show you some accounts as well where the people are buying and selling a profitable account and we are where they are creating a small businesses with lesser amount and after a couple of years they they will flip it like 100k or 200k dollar that is easily even we do have some accounts they are selling on 3 million or 5 million as well i can show you that as well okay uh, here you can see okay that is the investors one basically you can see here is a home and Okayan gifts. That is the Amazon product, basically. That is making a profit of $16,837. And basically, this guy is demanding 16 multiplied by 48. So is almost like $800K. So this account like started almost like three years ago, not that old. One person is selling for 500K. 4.4K, 3.5. This one is cheaper as well. You can see here, the profit is $2,040 a month and he multiply by is 44. So basically he's selling like more than three years. So you can see he's selling his account for $89. Even a 1,625 profit one, the guy is selling for $73,000. So what basically they do, and normally I always recommend that business. Like you have to create the business, make it in profitable and flip it. You see, uh, if you are making like a $16,000 a profit and you can sell your business is 800K. You can start like four more businesses. And after two years, you can see 800 multiplied by four. So it's 32. So that's how the people do basically. So they start to uh, with a small business, make it in a profitable and then sell it. So that is a flippable. So here's the other one as well. You can see here, the business is making two point, like 200K a month. And this guy is going to sell for the 50K. So it's almost 10 million, 3 million, 3 million. So that's how people do the businesses in the world. So basically that is the, on the left side, you can see the Amazon listing on the right hand side, this is a different like a social media, some websites, some electronics goods, these all are digital assets. So that's how people are creating digital assets. So here is one Amazon, a very, very recent account. Okay, it's a one year account. Profit is not very good, but still is making $33 and is going to sell it for 8,000. 8, so in 8,000, you can start it again. So this one as well. So it's, it's a small account. You see, rather working from zero to end, you can do, you can like start buying account. They're already in profit. So at least you are getting a money day one. So here you can see three year account, 11,000 is a 13 year account is making, is selling in for the 400. So it's a different websites basically. Okay, uh, the services, what we offering basically for the investors. So these services, even uh, Amazon virtual assistant can offer as well, the training we are going to provide for the virtual assistant, the investor can get all of these services. Basically what the motive for the e-commerce agency or the business. You see some people have a good investment. Some people have a lot of money, but they don't have a time for the business. And some people don't have a money and some people don't know what to do. So what we basically doing, we are providing them a training as a virtual assistant. And from other side, we are getting investor to invest on that guy. So this person who don't have a money, basically he is serving you. 
he is building your brand and while you are paying him for his servicing. So, you know, I'm trying my best to uh, capture that gap and I'm trying my best to like, if we fulfill that gap, so the people don't have a money, he provide you the services. The people have money, he will pay him for the services and he will grow his business as well. So I think uh, that will help a lot to creating a more more jobs as well. So the investing services, product hunting, sourcing from different platform, launching, accounts management, inventory management, and these all five stage are uh, Amazon virtual gonna learn as well. Okay, uh, there's a different company charges as well for the account handling side. So like if a virtual assistant, he will be launching is a 4,000 is a good pay basically while you are sitting here, basically he's doing all of that. He's going to launch a product, he's sourcing as well, he's listing as well, he's making your brand name as well, and he's doing all. After launching, he will charge like a $1,500 because he's handling a good store as well. If he has a small store, then yeah, the charges may vary basically. Okay, why we come here basically? The one and only e-commerce agency who took this step to encourage people. Basically what I've seen like in different universities, you know, uh, there's no jobs in, right now in the market, the inflation is there, the credit crunch going to happen soon uh, because you know UK is going down every single day as well. So basically what I want to encourage the university students, university graduate while studying, they can start making money. So how come they can start making money like while they're studying? Because you know they're too busy in their study. They cannot go to the office. They cannot go to the other places to start work. They can sit at home, they can sit at home and they start working. They don't need to like change their land. They don't need to like get ready in the morning as well or anything. They can start working from home, easy for them as well. So we are providing a theoretical knowledge in a practical work. Like, you know, there's a, too many companies, too many companies, too many agencies, they are providing like e-commerce services. Okay, come to us, we will like a best or something like that. And every single company is giving you a video link. Okay, here's the video link, just go through with link. What we have done, uh, we haven't made any video. Any. I have a lot of videos like for myself in different channels or different platform, but for the trainers or for the training purpose, we, we do a one-to-one -one session that will be online, that will be physical, that is not a problem for us. So basically we recommend like an online session because you know, after, your training or after getting every single information, you have to provide a service to them online and you can make like a lot of dollars as well while providing a services. So we do a one-to-one -one or group training where you have to come with the laptops and your laptop will be on and we will teach you on the system every single thing. So after other agencies, what they do, they will like teach you the videos and after that you will do the other thing. But here, we can start hands-on experience like on the day one. So you know what basically you are doing. You are not stuck in any way or any question while watching different kind of videos or anything. Okay, uh, that is basically our agency's account, like what we are handling or what my team are handling. You can see that it is a product sale for 495K. So it's near touching because we started two years ago. Uh, here's the left side account you can see here, growth is 39%. Okay, this one account is last month sale, almost 30K is pound, and it's, it's going a little bit down, 9%. It's because we uh, the manufacturer is delaying the product or these kind of things. Okay, here is the other portfolio. You can see we are even what uh, monitoring different websites as well. They're making like, a, they are a startup as well, basically $6,000 one month or these are things. So his other account, uh, United States is there, Canada is there, Mexico. We are, we are just working in USA. So here's the other account as well for the USA, 279, almost 300 USD. That is from two years ago as well. Okay, there's a different market account. Okay, there's a one other one as well. That is basically a recent your new account. You can see 8,000. A pound is the sale spending 4,000. On the upper side, you can see the other, other as well, 76,000 spending something. Oh, that is the endorsement. Like, well, when Pakistan is new one, there's a 
uh, Amazon mentor, one of the best, like he's in the world, he endorses basically, he put up a story on the newspaper and everything in all the online channels as well. And then these are certifications we have done from the different colleges in from the USA, from Pakistan, from Amazon, from Google. So that's basically our achievements. So thank you very much for watching. And we do have some surprise as well. Uh, I think uh, that we will tell you in a while as well. Okay, now uh, I'm open for the question. So if you guys have any question or anything, I'm ready to answer it all. Ahmed, very interesting uh, presentation, really. As always, I look forward to webinars like this because we have experts who are willing to share their knowledge and time to our community, the PMI UAE chapter. So it is just um, equally important that we listen to these webinars as well. So for me, my takeaways here are, now that we have proven as well after the COVID that working remotely is uh, um, uh, proven to be effective, most of the companies do not um, encourage their employees to go back anymore in the offices or on site because, you know, it's a savings for them as well. Much more important for me, what I learned from what you said is that given this uh, e-commerce and what we can learn and how we can earn from this, even new graduates can actually earn as early as uh, possible. You know, when there are new entrants in the market, they are even offered low salaries. Yeah, and with all of the technology and e-learning, sometimes there are no um, colleagues who are willing to train them. They will just say, oh, we have an online training here. You just watch it, learn from yourself. So. My question basically is, um, I, I took note of the buying of or selling, buying and selling of profitable businesses. In one of the slides that you showed, there is an example that you showed there, which is let's say $5,000. I can't remember if I, I got the right amount. And then he can sell it at 48 times the current amount. How soon are the businesses sold um, in the market? Like if I'm going to sell my uh, profitable business already, how soon do you think it will be sold? Do you, do you also monitor that? Okay, uh, basically, you know, the 80% of business is gonna sell in two years because what they do, uh, you know, uh, sometimes they say, if we are like buying a business from the 100K and they're giving us a $5,000 a profit, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you need to think about, uh, you are not like, paying them a 500k or something you are like a buying his two years of time mm -hmm. you see uh you just straight away you buy a business and you are getting a profit so normally pick almost a two years for a good business to grow and because we we don't want to people to buy a seed we don't want a people to buy a big tree so we want a people to buy a small plant mm -hmm. because and let it go know, further yeah, that's his grow oh. because you know the seed they have a chance of failure, they have a chance of success, and the tree is very expensive. You can see people are selling for the 10 million, 20 million, oh. and, but a small plant you can buy it very, very like a good price as well. Mm -hmm. There's a question here from Hamad. Could you please guide which platform are there available for flipping the product listing? Okay, uh, you can see if you have a uh, you know, the account to sell, you can visit a flipper.com, empireflipper.com. These are the two websites. Even you can Google them, you can find them as well. The Empire Flipper and flipper.com. Okay, so you got that, um, but it's, uh, um, can you say again, Empire Flipper and flipper.com. Flipper flipper okay, another question from Sami. Uh, he's from the UAE. Approximately how much budget do we need to start? Okay, it's depend like which market are you going? Like if you are going like a market for USA, okay, you need a good money because it's one of the biggest market in the world. So normally like you can start it from 10 to $15,000 easily. Okay. So uh, you get that as well, Fadi. <laughs> uh, good luck on your on uh, starting the, the business. Um, Ahmed, uh... We don't have other questions yet. While we're waiting for the others to throw in their question, I um, this um, what they call private label. Okay, so if I'm going to 
Okay, I'll give way to Muhammad as a question. I'm sorry. Kindly let me know. Let me know the duration of your training and training charges, and what support you will provide. This is a very good question, Muhammad Asif. We're going to share Ahmed uh, Ahmed's contact details here. Um, if is it okay, Ahmed? I can share it with them already right now. Okay. Okay, but we still, of course, mm -hmm. wanted Tell you all. To, to, to stay with us and uh, please take other questions. Okay. This is Ahmed's uh, contact details. Your question, Mohammed, and for those who are interested in the training that uh, Ahmed is uh, providing, we've seen how many, uh, be how, be how what are the benefits of uh, attending this uh, training as well. From Dan and Jay, any regulation mandated with respect to country for this business? Yeah, exactly. You, you see, uh, that is depend where you want to do the business. Like if you want to do the business in USA, you need to open an LLC and you can open LLC while like sitting anywhere in the world. Same even in the UK, you have to open an LTD company in UK. So that you can do while sitting anywhere in the world. So you don't need to be a physical presence in USA or physical presence in UK. You can open company while sitting at home in anywhere in the world. Okay, I hope that answered your question, uh, question uh, Dan, Dan, and, Dan and Jay. Okay, I'll go back to my question, Ahmed. The private label. I think I looked into this when the e-commerce is not yet in place. You know, I was a trader before. What I do is I go on um, bazaars and there are product producers there or manufacturers who have their product unbranded. So exactly. I will order my products from them and label it as my product under my brand. So this is the same now in the e-commerce. There are private labels, building your own product, and um, I can sell it in the in the um, Amazon. Yeah. So the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Basically, you know, uh, every day's market is going to change. So what normally I recommend, if you want to sell your private label product or private label brand you need to get that brand name registered as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. You see, sometimes what happened, you get so successful on Amazon and you forget about to register your brand and somebody else registered okay. your brand and he say, look, Amazon, this brand belong to me <laughs> and you will be out of the business. I'm in trouble. <laughs> and there's also FBA, fulfilled by Amazon freelancer. Is yeah. this something that you also offer as a training? Yeah, yeah, basically in uh, fulfilled by Amazon, there's small courses as well. So you while you don't need to like provide a whole kind of a service uh, like account management, there's a small, you know, little chunks as well. Like you can charge them to opening his account. You can charge them to creating LLC. You can charge them to creating uh, different bank accounts in different countries. So mm -hmm. basically that is a complete training for VA. Okay. And um, maybe last question for me, of course, I'll give way to the questions of the others, but well, I have a lot of questions. <laughs> um, can you tell us again about the PSP, problem solving product? Yeah, uh, basically, you know, uh, okay, let me tell you the what was the success rate and the failure ratio before, like you can see is a two year ago and what is now. You know, when I started in 2018 and we were like searching a product like everybody else was searching. So we were like selling the same product what everybody else was selling and we are using some kind of tools. And then after one year, we realized, you know, the data from the tools is not be authentic. So what we were expecting in sales, we were not getting that things as well. So we need to think about out of the box. So even before, if uh, the success rate for the private label and wholesale was a 50-50, you see, we are getting a 50% failure. We are getting a 50% success rate as well. And in 50% success rate, I'm not considering about uh, if, if we have a count on the break events, like in no profit, no loss, they're not in the 50% success rate. So we start thinking, okay, we have to work on the product that is going to solve somebody problems. So, you know, uh, if, if you are in home, like every family or every person have a different kind of problems. 
So you can see uh, sometime, you know, uh, somebody say, okay, if that thing is made like that, I will definitely buy. So we start working on the product development. So the product development help us a lot to grow. Now, Alhamdulillah, like our success rate is about 70%. So in this 70%, the break-even accounts are not like on the list. They are in the 30%. I still consider them they are failed. So now uh, basically the chances of success will grow when you are solving somebody problem. And when you work on the problem, like every single person have this problem. So where we normally find that problem, you know, we normally go, sorry, we normally go to the Amazon. Oh, we're losing you a bit, Ahmed. I think we're having connection problems. Platform, you know. Uh, that. Uh, Ahmed, we lost you a bit there. I don't know if it was me or. Yeah, you can hear me now? Yes, yes, now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, there's a question from Sami. I don't know uh, who's uh, who is he addressing this question. What kind of products do you personally sell? Uh, is this oh, for, for Ahmed uh, Sami? So, uh, I was. Uh, Ahmed, uh, Ahmed, uh, I think we're you're getting a bit choppy. We're losing you some from time to time. Yeah, is okay now. Yes, yes. Uh, okay, you know, uh, Sammy, what product I'm selling? That is my assets. <laughs> you see, nobody. Loves but he's you need to hide that product from your wife because you tell someone else, someone else starts selling. So that, that all the technique you will like get in, in all the courses. So you will like learn how to get a profitable products and that is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, I have shared your contact details, Ahmed. And is it also possible if you can share on the chat your LinkedIn uh, LinkedIn account? Maybe our attend this year would uh, better want to connect with you via LinkedIn as well, uh, so they can um, they can engage with you uh, directly. Okay. Somebody reminded me of the PDU code. Is there any other questions, by the way, before I share uh, with all of you the code? No more. <laughs> Salah Khan. Okay, here's the PDU code. Okay, we have one more minute to eight o'clock. Actually, we can extend up to 8.15 if there are more questions for Ahmed. Uh, indeed, this is a very, um, a very interesting uh, topic. Uh, I uh, I got more than what I'm expecting. To be honest, I um, uh, especially hearing because it is focused mainly on well, um, not really focused, but in hearing Amazon and what what we can do and earn and learn um, in the e-commerce and this uh, marketing thing. It's really um, very interesting. So. Um, Amir, from Amir. Ah, yeah, Amir, thank you for sharing as well. So I have shared the PDU code as well. The LinkedIn account has been uh, shared mm -hmm. by Ahmed. And um, if you don't have any other questions, uh, I would like to close the discussion and the webinar now. I would like to thank all the, now I can see 80 attendees, but in fact, we reached up to 86 Ahmed. Very well attended webinar. Thank you very much for your time. And on behalf of the PMI UAE chapter and the events management team, my colleague Olumide at the back end, PMI UAE chapter name, we'd like to thank everyone for your participation. And until the next um, webinar, see you again, please. Thank you very much. You. Good night.
Uh, yes, Olu, I have announced the PMI, uh, the PDU code. Thank you, Sulaiman. Thank you for all those who are sharing their thanks and appreciation. Thank you very much. Dr. Mazin Gadir was here before. He's our director of um, uh, outreach. Also, Julie, the director of marketing. Uh, I'd like to share again your LinkedIn. Um, Ahmad, the training, have you announced it yet? The training? Uh, sorry. The training you earlier mentioned? <laughs> I'm here. No, uh, uh, although he, he, uh, connect, he gave his contact details so he can con they can contact okay. him directly uh, on the details. Okay, okay, okay. Good. Okay. 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 Thank you, Dr. Mazen. Thank you, Danan Jay. Thank you to you as well. Um, although you can stop the recording, by the way. <laughs> <laughs>